Good morning everyone. Welcome to this subject, Traffic Management. For this week, we're going to discuss about one of the management techniques of traffic. And this is the implementation of traffic laws, rules, and regulations. Now, the purpose of this is that without supervision, we can still control the behavior of the members of the members or the actors of traffic so here are some of the um, most important laws that's related to traffic so what I want you to do at the end of this very short lecture is that you're going to find out each one of it and further instructions will be given at the end of this video so this one are their public acts and this one are their presidential decrees. So just a short insight, these are the important terms used in the Republic Act 4136. Motor vehicle. So is any vehicle propelled by any power other than muscular power using the public highways? So these are any vehicles na yung ginagamit sa pagpatakbo is hindi muscle power. So, other than that, hindi na siya motor vehicle. Tapos, may exemptions. Yung mga vehicles na hindi ginagamit ng sa public highways. As you can see, meron din yung mga ginagamit sa mga so, mga rail tracks. So, trailers having any number of wheels when propelled or intended to be propelled by attachment to a motor vehicle shall be classified as a separate motor vehicle with no power rating. So, yung mga trailers na kinakabit sa likod na mga motor vehicles ay also considered as motor vehicles. So, bale, dalawa na yung motor vehicles. Bale, extension lang yung trailer but it's considered as motor vehicle and it should have a separate registration. Next is passenger automobiles. All pneumatic tire vehicles, yung mga tires na may air, Vehicle of type similar to those usually known under the following terms, touring car, command car, speedster, sports car, roadster, jeep, cycle car, except motor wheel and similar small outfits which are classified with motorcycles, coupe, londolette, closed cars, limousine, cabriolet, and sedan. I think this is cabriolet. The distinction between passenger truck and passenger automobile shall be the shall be that of common usage, provided that a motor vehicle registered for more than nine passengers shall be classified as trucks. So, claro, passenger automobiles ay yung mga kumakarga ng less than nine. Oh, nine, nine pababa. So, yung trucks, passenger trucks, yung more than 9. So, starting from 10. Articulated vehicles. Any motor vehicle with a trailer having no frontal axe and so attached that part of the trailer rests upon the motor vehicle and a substantial part of the weight of the trailer and of its load is borne by the motor vehicle. Such trailer shall be called a semi-trailer. So, yan yung mga ma malalaking truck na. So, they are articulated vehicles. So, eto yung mga vehicles na parang ulo lang ng isang 10 wheelers. Okay? Driver. Is every person or any licensed operator of a vehicle? Second is the professional driver. Every and any driver 
hired for driving or operating a motor vehicle, whether for private use or for, or for hire to the public. It is any, any driver driving his own motor vehicle for hire is a professional driver. So, ang kaibahan ng driver at yung professional driver ay yung driving is ginagamit niya as a profession or as a means of living. Yung ginagamit sa um, paghahanap buhay. Okay, next is owner, actual legal owner of a motor vehicle in whose name such vehicle is duly registered with the LTO. So, kung kaninong pangalan nakarehistro yung vehicle, siya yung official owner or legal owner. The owner of a government-owned motor vehicle is the head of the office. So, take note, head of the office or the chief of the bureau to which the said motor vehicle belongs. So, if kung uh, na-impound yung isang sasakyan or may violation kasi walang registration or hindi updated, so, ang mananagot yung may liability is yung head ng department or bureau. Next is dealer. Is any person, association, partnership, or corporation Corporation making, manufacturing, constructing, assembling, remodeling, or setting up motor vehicles, and every such entity acting as agent for the safe of one or more makes, styles, or kinds of motor vehicles, dealing in motor vehicles, keeping the same in stock or selling same, or handling, handling with a view to trading same. So, bale, in short, siya yung reason kung bakit may buy and sell, kung bakit nabibenta, kung bakit nabibili yung sasakyan. Basta siya yung um, reason kung bakit may market sa, sa, sa sasakyan. It does not limit to just, um, what we call this, displaying, selling, but it also uh, includes those Manufacturing, yung paggawa, pag-assemble, pag-remodel. So, considered ka na as a car dealer. Next is garage. Is any building in which two or more motor vehicles, either with or without drivers, are kept ready for hire to the public, but shall not include street stands, public service stations, or other or other public places designated by proper authority as parking spaces for motor vehicles for hire while awaiting or soliciting business. So, dito sa um, Republic 4136, uh, ang definition kasi ng garage is yung lugar kung saan um, naka tago yung sasakyan mo na for hire sa public. So, garage does not mean or does not refer to private vehicles. Ito yung sa operational definition ng um, Republic Act 4136. Of course, iba yung meaning sa um, Webster's Dictionary. So, Ito kasi yung operational definition niya. So, when talking about 4136, kapag na-mention yung garage, ito talaga yung nasa um, isipan natin na yung space for parking para sa mga ready for hire vehicles. Gross weight is the measure weight of a motor vehicle plus the maximum allowable carrying capacity in merchandise, freight, and or passengers as determined by the commissioner of the LTO. So that is the cross weight, the total weight, the over total weight. It is the weight of the vehicle plus the maximum allowable capacity or load. So yung bigat ng vehicle tsaka kung ano yung allowed na bigat na pwede niyang ikarga. 
yun yung gross weight, overall weight. Next is highways. It is every public thoroughfare, public boulevard, driveway, avenue, park, alley, but shall not include roadway upon grounds owned by private persons, colleges, universities, or other similar institutions. So, lahat ng daanan except sa mga uh, lugar na owned by private persons, private colleges, universities, and other similar institutions. So, aside from those mentioned, public uh, highway yan. Public highway. Okay? Next is parking or park. So, i-define na kung ano yung park vehicle. It is a motor vehicle. A motor vehicle is parked or parking if it has been brought to a stop on the shoulder or proper edge of a highway and remains inactive in that place or close thereto for an appreciable, appreciable period of time. A motor vehicle which properly stops merely to discharge a passenger or to take in a waiting passenger or to load or unload a small quantity of freight with reasonable dispatch shall not be considered as part if the motor vehicle again moves away without delay. So, hindi pala park kapag nag-unload ka ng passenger or things at saka nag-load ka ng passenger or things. Hindi yung parking. And the question here is, walang nakalagay sa batas kung how long talaga dapat na nakastandby yung sasakyan mo. Kasi kahit na hindi yung naka-off yung sasakyan mo, kapag matagal kang naka-stay sa place na yan, considered yan ang park. Kaso lang hindi naka, ano, nakalagay kung how long. Okay, next is tourist. A tourist is a foreigner who travels from place to place for pleasure or culture. Okay, activity, uh, the activity for this week is you must determine the laws statement above, uh, stated above yung Republic Act at saka yung pres Presidential Decrees and using your own words, explain the main context of that law. So using your own words, huh? take note, using your own words. It's, uh, I want you to explain using your own words just a short explanation what that law is all about. Okay? At most, two sentence lang for each law. So, madali lang. Kailangan nyo lang laanan ng oras. Kaya tong gawin, kaya tong tapusin for 30 minutes only, but I will give you a deadline of one week because meron din kayong mga subjects na pagtutunan. Okay, so good luck.